What's going on guys? It's Jake. In this video, we're going to be doing our unboxing of the brand new variant Lucifer, which is the bay for the antagonist so far of Beyblade Burst Sparking. This is a very, very highly anticipated bay, and um, I have some good things, but also a lot of bad things to say about it. So let's just unbox it. Before we hop into the unboxing, if we could hit 750 likes on this video, that would be really, really cool. Hit that subscribe button to join the Nook Nation. If you want to talk about Lucifer, join the Discord, the Nook Nation Discord. Links to that will be in the description down below. But anyways, it's unboxing time. So guys, starting with the box. Now, this one is a little bit different than normal boosters like uh, Valkyrie or Longinus because this is a starter and the box is also mostly purple which is kind of cool. Another thing that's really awesome about this starter is the fact that it doesn't just come with a normal ripcord launcher it comes with a full-on black sparking launcher which is really hard to come by if you want to order a sparking launcher separately so right now this is probably one of the best ways to get a sparking launcher and it's black and purple as well which is a really cool color scheme still not a sparking lr launcher though i kind of wonder if we're even going to get one maybe with the new spriggan if that actually comes out so guys moving on to variant lucifer the first part we're we're going to talk about is the driver which is called mobius and taking a look at it it's kind of pretty similar to bearing actually in the way that it works except i would say it's a little bit more flat it has like a little pointy bit at the top but overall it's a little bit more flat than bearing is and that's kind of problematic and i'll show you guys that when we do the test battles next up we have the chassis which is 2d and this is where the entire lucifer gimmick comes from and pretty much the way it works is that it has these sort of rubber rubber ish pink tongues like they look like tongues that kind of pop out whenever you launch the bay hard and they slowly retract as the bay slows down and that makes the very popular lucifer shield gimmick work the chassis is also extremely thick and it is really heavy as well there's a lot of metal a lot of plastic and the rubber obviously so that's pretty cool but the rubber thing i don't know we got to see how it battles next up we have the ring which is variant now this one doesn't have like a crazy shape or anything and it's also very thin so I don't think it's going to be amazing on other chassis or anything. It is very light and it's very much so built to be used on 2B. Past the ring though, we might actually have a chip that is really strong and that is the Lucifer chip. Now I say this before we've done really any test battles with it, but what's really cool about this chip besides its design and its color with the, the pink and purple look is that while it has no removable sparking core, the built-in core is metal, which makes it heavier than really any combo we could have right now besides maybe, I don't know, like Solomon and a metal core chip but those are really expensive and hard to get. So this is going to be really good, and you you might see this a lot in tournaments. So when you put the bay all together, you have variant Lucifer, and it's extremely thick. It's built like a tank, that's for sure. The teeth on 2B are not the strongest, but then again, with the rubber tongue things, I don't really think it will have, you know, problems bursting anyways. I've already done a couple battles with it, and so far, it's been a little disappointing, and uh, I'll just talk about it after we get into the test battle. So, let's just get right into it, guys. All right, so here is Lucifer on Mobius, the chunky boy, and we're gonna be battling up against some of the sparking bays, not all of them, but some of them. We're gonna see how it does, and uh, yeah, let's let's just get into it. Right, there you go as you can see mobius is pretty like so fast and the blades have already kind of come back in so i don't know i don't really see how this is like a stamina tip but pretty aggressive and it looks like it ran through all of its stamina so far come on see what we can get and it is gone
Oh, there we go. All right. The blade's actually helping the bay knock Satan out of the stadium right there. Let's do one more. What was that? What? It battled for like a second and then it just completely died out. Um, okay, next. This is the ultimate test. We're putting it up against Glide. If it can't beat Glide, you know there's a problem. And it got out stamina. Okay. Alright, taking on Glide. Already the rubber. Oh man. And it got out stamina. Okay, next round. Super aggressive, hitting the walls, and the rubber once again, the, okay, yikes, it couldn't beat Glide, and it didn't get it close to bursting either, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's change it up a bit, I guess, alright, let's see if it could take on a left spin bay, and if it does any better, with Rage Longinus. Okay, holding up. Whoa, could 2B be really good for spin stealing? Watch this. You see, it should have died already if you compare it to its battle with Glide, but it's still staying up. Can it win by stamina? Oh, it lost. But only by a little bit. Let's try it again. Uh-oh. Stamina already waning. Making a little bit of contact right here. Alright, it's gonna come down to stamina yet again. Oh, it's gonna be close. And the winner was Lucifer that time. I'm actually going to slow launch Lucifer here and see if maybe that helps out its stamina. Oh, huge hits. Okay. Oh, oh so close. Might come down to stamina here. Long and it's with not really a pattern or anything. Little bits of contact. Oh, okay. It's actually stealing spin. The rubber is helping Lucifer out. And it's a draw. All right, and we're going to leave it at a draw there. What's interesting is I think when it's up against a left spin bay, this rubber acts as like a way to spin steal really well. So... When before, up against Glide or something, the stamina would just die out really quickly. It's stealing some of Longinus's... Longinus? Long... It's stealing some of its spin. So, let's, uh, let's put it up against Fafnir. All right, I'm sticking with the light launching because I think that's what works best. Because I want to see just how well it can steal spin. Alright, up against Fafnir... They seem to be pretty even right now. It's going to come down to the wire. Both stealing spin, and the winner is going to be... I think it was a tie. Let's do it again. Oh, okay. Well, I tried to hard launch Lucifer that time, and uh, it got recoiled out of the stadium. So, now that we know how it battles... What I can say is that on Mobius, I think Mobius is just too flat, so it just acts really aggressively. And what happens is it hits the walls of the stadium, then it'll hit right spin bays, and its stamina will die out really, really fast. And then up against left spin bays, it can still spin a little bit, but still stamina-wise, it's just not really that good. So with just its dot combo, besides the chip or something, I'm gonna have to say, Variant Lucifer is a little disappointing. That's gonna wrap up the test battles. Overall, you probably saw it in the battles. Mobius, the problem with Mobius is that it seems to be pretty aggressive unless you have like the perfect launch, but you're not really gonna have that all the time. And when it's aggressive, that kind of makes its stamina not nearly 
as good. Also, the problem with 2B is that it has the rubber like tongues that pop out, but they were tracked really, really fast and the rubber parts will hit the stadium, hit the other bays, and it'll just make it really slow down. And that really kills Lucifer's stamina in general. But really guys, if you're able to get this starter for pretty cheap, I would still probably recommend it, mainly because it comes with a really cool recolor of the sparking launcher, which is really hard to get. And if you like combos, you like making stuff that's, you know, really competitive, it also has the Lucifer chip, which has metal in it. And that could be really, really good going forward. Mobius on the right combo could also be pretty good. I'm just really not a fan of 2B. It's pretty gimmicky and I don't think it's going to be that strong for much, but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And if you already have the bay and have, have done some pretty good combos, let me know what they are in the comments. But that is going to wrap up this video, guys. Hit the like button if you liked it. Once again, 750 likes. Subscribe to join the Nook Nation and join my disc. My monitor's turned off. But join the Discord, link is in the description, and we can just talk about Variant Lucifer in there and how it's good or bad or kind of meh. I will see you guys in the next one. Have fun and bay away.